My name is Ken Adam, and I was the uh, production designer on Thunderball. What you're seeing now is some location scouting footage I took at a place called Chateau d'Anet in uh, France, which we were going to use for, I think, the pre-credit title sequence, the very beautiful uh, castle. And now we are location scouting in, uh, in the Bahamas, and that's Harry Saltzman there. Uh, and I think it's the back of uh, Terence Young, and there uh, is Ted Moore and Gus Augusti. Uh, Ted Moore was a cameraman, Gus Augusti was the first assistant, and David Middlemouse, who was the production manager. And here we've got Ted Moore <laughs> balancing on the retaining wall. And if I remember right, it looked like a submarine pen. Dick Maybaum, you know, was the most relaxed character, and Dick was always, always took part. He was very much part of the unit. Also, I think, helped him to come up with new scenes and uh, create them, because he was so much part of us, you know. Um, these are shots of actual sharks which we placed into the one of the swimming pools of an American couple who had an incredible villa in the Bahamas and uh, those sharks were caught by the Miami Sea Aquarium in uh, uh, one night outside where Sean Myself and Letizia and some of the artists uh, were staying. We had to keep the sharks alive in uh, Mr. Sullivan's pool. In fact, the only way we could do it uh, was to uh, have the Ivan Tours underwater experts swim, hold on to the fin of the sharks and swim around with them to keep them alive. But the stench, the smell was awful. And uh, also it was quite dangerous in a way because uh, I remember the Sullivans used to have their several gin and tonics at night time and I was worried that if somebody fell into the pool, <laughs> you know, who was responsible? Now we get, I went to uh, God knows where, it was on the East Coast uh, to uh, film a, one of the first uh, American hydrofoils called the Denison, which uh, traveled at about 60 knots on the Atlantic and was powered by aircraft jet engines. And I thought I might use it for the Disco Volante, but it was too experimental, too noisy, and um, I then decided against it, but I filmed it going uh, out to sea and then was on it myself. This was a catamaran I found in uh, Nassau Harbor because we had an idea of having one of the speedboats disappear under the catamaran and it had to be the right size. So uh, I was very fortunate and I think I'm not sure now, but I think we used it in, in the sequence. And this, we are coming to, I decided that it would be better to build part of the Vulcan bomber full size in the Bahamas. And so we built actually a replica, you see the nose section and undercarriage in fiberglass with my construction team, which I brought over from England at Pinewood, um, on a barge outside Paradise Island. And here you find the catamaran section of uh, the Disco Volante, which I had designed. And I think here you find the first time 
the two sections are joined together. So it was a very exciting moment for me that uh, will it all work and uh, uh, fortunately as so often with uh, the more complicated uh, uh, design uh, it worked all right in here. I filmed the hydrofoil, which Harry Saltzman and I had bought in Puerto Rico for, I think, uh, $10,000. Uh, this was uh, the camera unit uh, on, a, on a speedboat. I think the uh, design challenges in Nassau were uh, more ships, I mean the Disco Volante, the underwater uh, for the first time uh, I had to uh, use bottles and swim underwater. That's Adolfo Celli, yeah, the, who was the chief villain. This was in between takes obviously. Sean loved to clown uh, for me and uh, so, uh, yeah, I sneaked those shots of Sean and uh, Claudine Auger, which were shot while the main unit was shooting at Coral Harbor. There's Terence Young uh, discussing with Claudine, that's a camera unit. The location shooting of Thunderbolt was a lot of fun. And uh, because it's a certain atmosphere that was created, and I must say Terence was great at creating the right sort of atmosphere. He was very friendly with Sean, and Sean uh, was extremely relaxed, and he was at his most relaxed when uh, Terence uh, directed him. I credit Terence with the really creating Sean as a Bond. Uh, it was uh, quite easy for Terence to teach Sean all the things that he fans James Bond ought to be. And they had a great relationship and that reflected on the whole crew, you know. Gus Augusti was one of the most experienced first directors and very popular. Uh, David Middleman, the production manager, was liked by everybody. Uh, I had a very good art department crew out there and construction department from Pinewood. Cubby was at its most relaxed. This Sean in foreground with Claudine, shot at Love Beach, where in fact we were all living off, uh, we had four bungalows nearby. And this must be, that's uh, Gus Augusti on, on Paradise Beach. These were two pontoons which we had to build to shoot the uh, sequence of the, um, of the disco volante. And in the background here is a wonderful schooner called the Black Pearl, which belonged to uh, uh, an American called Buzzy Warburton, who unfortunately is no longer with us, who was also a member of, uh, or Commodore of the R Rhode Island um, uh, Newport Yacht Club, and he was very keen to get his yacht into frame. And these are uh, people, I think, having a swim or trying to organize something uh, with the camera pontoons. And I was quite nervous at the time because it was filming the uh, disco volante and I was hoping that uh, everything would work all right.
There was Luciana Paoluzzi, that's Diana Hartford, who's dancing with Sean. And uh, that's the main camera unit filming it. And there's Diane Hartford leaving the set. Yes, I had to, you know, create the atmosphere, which was really uh, more like uh, doing, a, I think, a, a false ceiling with uh, all these Chinese lanterns hanging from it. And here we are back now on the Disco Volante with the first unit shooting from these pontoons. And now we come to my aerial scout, and that's a Sullivan Billet. On the right, you see the seawater pool, and in the center, you see the actual swimming pool. And uh, after scouting the whole of uh, uh, NASA, of the Bahamas, of NASA, by air, I, I found this villa. Oh, yeah, now this is. Letizia, my wife, this is Luciana Paoluzzi and her mother on Love Beach, where we were all staying. We knew Anita Eckberg, who was staying in one of the bungalows. Letizia and Forgot and my brother, late brother Peter, who was seven years older, who visited me in, in the Bahamas. And Letizia, my wife, who's Italian, and Anita were great friends. And so she spent a lot of time in her spare time because we were all, I mean, we were having fun. And we were all uh, water people. I mean, Kabi liked boats, Peter Merton, my art director, loved boats, I loved boats, Peter Lamont loved boats. So we spent more time in the water. and. Uh, didn't go to bed until <laughs> the early hours of the morning. And it was one of the things that I learned from a famous American director who taught me a great deal much earlier, Bob Aldridge, who said, you've got to be professional on films, but you also have to have laughs. And on Thunderbolt, we had a lot of laughs. <laughs> 